Well, congratulations, Gary. An excellent win and a superb performance. Yeah, very much so. You know, I think it was a, a lot better in than uh, in midweek against Luton. I didn't feel the uh, scoreline told the full story in the match. I thought we'd done very well in the first 30 minutes of the match. But, you know, when things are going against you, John, and uh, you're a little bit low on confidence, and you play such against a side like Luton, who were very, very strong and good, it was um, hard to take. But a good response today. I thought that, uh, you know, we looked very, very strong, ready from the off. Started very brightly and um, was on the front foot from the off. And uh, to find us all one of that was very encouraging. I think it gives us that little bit of confidence and belief what we needed. And probably a little bit unlucky uh, one or two times after that, Scott Reddell had another shot saved. And uh, one nil up at half time, it's still going to be a big test for the second half. But I think we showed a lot of character and a lot of strength today and deservedly got a second goal from Josh Payne and run out worthy winners. And Gary, I imagine a huge sense of relief to get past the 30 minute mark and not concede. Yeah, yeah very much so. You know, there's no secret about that. I think it's only the games uh, what we haven't uh, conceded in them 30 minutes this year. We've gone on and got results. It has been a big barrier for us. But, you know, we're very encouraged today, very pleased today. There's been a, a lot of hard work going out there. And, you know, I wouldn't turn around and say that, you know, that gives us the divine right to do this and do that now. But um, I think we know that uh, a lot of. Uh, the previous results have been self-inflicted one way or another, but it's a case of being mental, strong and showing that bit of commitment. I thought we showed a certain amount of good football at times today and very pleased with everybody, you know, supporters and that at the club. Been short-changed down here at Kingfield in a big way, but uh, I was very pleased the way they applauded the players off at the end of the game and they were very pleased with what they see out in the park. So hopefully that gives us something to build and push on with. And there seemed a real collective determination today not to concede silly goals and to work really hard and perhaps a belief that if they did that, they really could win this game. Well, I think I think so. I think in a, in a big way, I think that, you know, it is about that. We have to be mentally strong and uh, do certain things. But um, very, very pleased all round. Like, you know, I say, it's a case of that when you are in the trenches and you haven't got that situation, everybody's got to pull together. And we've done that today, kept a clean sheet and a very good, uh, valuable three points. And it just shows how well working played today, because there were probably plenty of candidates for Man of the Match, and I thought in particular in the first half, Kevin Betsy had a superb game. Yeah, he started very bright today, Betsy. Uh, started very bright, and uh, there was a lot of players out there on the park, and uh, we've done very well as a team collectively, which is pleasing to see. But, uh, you know, I, I had no complaints whoever was going to get it. It was more about getting the three points, so getting the three points today was important. And next up away at Southport, difficult place to go. I know I keep saying this every time I talk to you, but none of these games are easy, are they? No, there's no easy games. The Southport have overall had a solid start this season. They'll be tough, we know that, but it's a nice surface up there. Hoping that uh, with a good result we've got against uh, Nuneaton, uh, it's a game we can look forward to and hopefully uh, carry on the good work. Lovely, enjoy your evening. Thank you very yes. much, Gary. Thank you.